welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make a customizable, super easy, no sew, let's show you, roll up pencil case. Now uh, the customizable bit is really just this little um, emoji at the end or um, you know maybe not an emoji, you can have an emoji here or I've got for example a little heart, looks really cute or a little uh, um, initial. So it's really up to you what you can do. Now I haven't showed you in the video how to do the customizing because all it is is a piece of felt that you glue on with PVA glue or you just leave it out. But I do think it's quite cute. Now these uh, roll ups are really easy to do. Um, take minutes to make, make a great gift. You can use them for pencils. So this is a, a, a pencil case. You can use them for paint brushes. You can use it for um, uh, what's it called? Uh, makeup, crochet hooks, knitting needles, whatever. But you basically have to adjust the size. But I will tell you in the video how to do that. Now, I also wanted to tell you before we get started, this is a collaboration with the wonderful Jenny from Origami Tree. And she's going to show you how to make these amazing pencil notebooks for back to school. So stay tuned and make sure to watch both, both videos and follow both channels. So let's get started. So to make your easy peasy no sew pencil roll, you will need a piece of felt. Mine is 25 centimeters by, so 25 centimeters by 30 centimeters, a ribbon or some string. Mine is about 50 centimeters, uh, a ruler, very important, some scissors, um, a pencil, and of course your pencils. Now, when it comes to the hip width and the length, it actually depends on your pencil. So in my case, I took my pencils and just made sure that they fit. So, and then added about two centimeters on either end. If you've got um, crochet hooks or if you use paint brushes, depending on your paint brushes, you might want to have longer felt, shorter felt. If you're doing crayons, for example, you can do it shorter. So really it's a measure of your, um, how many pencils or what you're making it for. And then again, in terms of length, it's similar. In my case, I've got nine colors that I want to put into my pencil and you need about two centimeters at the end and then you do roughly um, a centimeter and a, and a half between each one. So you kind of measure it out like this and then see if it fits. Now, at the end, some people um, put the pencils all the way to the end. And then when you roll it up, you can see some of the pencils. Some people leave a little bit at the end, so it kind of has this neat closure look. So I'm gonna leave a little bit just because I've, I've got the space and why not? But it's really up to you in designing it in a way that you like. I'm just showing you the technique. So then you decide roughly where you're going to have your um, pencil line. So because mine are, mine's 25 centimeters wide, I think I'm going to have one around here, so that's five centimeters in, and the other one five centimeters from the bottom. So I'm just very quickly going to mark these lines out. Um, if you have a taller ruler, it's a bit easier. You don't have to um, do as many marks. But I've only got a short ruler, <laughs> which I'm so that's the same problem some of you will have. So all I'm doing is I'm putting some little markers in place so that I make sure I, I cut in a straight line later on. So this is just a rough mark of five centimeters that I've kind of had a look to see if I like the look of it. Here we go. Now I'm going to, so each pencil, each of my pencils is about seven millimeters long so my cuts will have to be seven millimeters long you do not want to make them too big otherwise your pencils will fall out so what i'm going to do now is draw across i've got my marker so two centimeters in before the first cut like so and do the same down here i'm going to mark in the seven centimeters then we leave a centimeter and a half and another seven millimeters. And then you do that nine times, okay? And then we'll do the cutting. So I'll get on with that. check that they're lined up because it's important it's not completely mm. Just make sure they're lined up because obviously you want your pencils in straight 
I've got a slightly bigger ruler that is helpful. And also the eagle-eyed amongst you will see that I marked out five centimeters but for some reason I drew them at four centimeters but you know what it's all right. Never the exact uh, crafter here. So now I'm going to take my little um, scissors. If you've got a little uh, you can cut these with a metal ruler and um, a cutting pen if, uh, what they're called you know one of those knives uh, or you take your little scissors and give it a little snip like so. You might have to make the snips bigger, but just start it off and see if it fits. That's my first pencil, let's have a look. There we go. Like I said, I think it's best to have it a little bit too small than rather than a bit too big, because um, as you start using it, your pencils will, um, you know, wear it in and out anyway. So there you go, that's the first fit, that's perfect. Now, some people like uh, to have another little cut and kind of weave it in and out, but I think this is quite, this is the quickest and easiest way of making these. So let's just carry on like this. Okay, so I've cut them all. Let's see how they fit. Don't worry about the um, pencil marks. They'll wear off over time <clears throat> and you won't be able to see them that much. Okay, now comes the last little bit <clears throat> and that is to add your ribbon. So to do that, I'm gonna find the middle of my fabric, which is, let's see, what was it? About here. I'm going to do a little snip two centimeters in. Let me just actually mark it. So a little snip two centimeters, actually two snips because I want to put my, I want two ribbons around it. Ah, I should have done that properly. Da, da, da. Let's do a line here and a line here. Like I say, ignore the pencil mark. It's not the end of the world. I'm being distracted because my kids are home and guess what? They are arguing. Yay. Little mark there. Now I can um, poke my ribbons through. Now, if you don't have ribbon, you can use a uh, string, or you can maybe use like some little uh, bits of leather, or um, baker's twine looks really nice. So I'm just going to leave it like that. What you can do, if you're worried about the string coming undone, um, you can give it a little knot here. I think that's always quite good, just to make sure it stays in place. Like so, and then you're ready to roll. There we go. Now this is what the bit I was saying about, if you've got more bits of fabric left over, you've got nice neat um, closure look like this, or if you want to put more pens in, you just can see them on the outside. But to be honest, I really don't think it matters. Then take your ribbon and you wrap one each way, like so, and then you do a little bow where you push this under, make a loop, wrap it round, and push it through. And there you have your very own, um, yeah, no sew pencil case. So remember, this is a collaboration with the lovely Jenny from Origami Tree. She's made a fantastic rainbow pencil notebook. Do go and have a look and subscribe to her channel. Check it out, have a look around. She's lovely, has some great ideas. You really, really like her channel. And of course, give me the thumbs ups, likes, and comments below. So anyway, see you here again soon. Bye.